old neighborhood. You know, there are only two religions here. Catholic, which is what I am, and public. <laughs> May I help you? Yes. I'd like to see the principal, please. I'm her secretary. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Well, I graduated from here a number All of years ago. All grades are final. <laughs> I know that. I need to ask her something very important. Sister is very busy. Perhaps you could come back another day. No, that's OK. I'll wait. If you insist. I'll inform sister of the situation. Now, what is your name? Eddie Ryan. Edward, you'd better not fail to be here when sister is ready to see you. No, I, I won't fail to be here. I did a lot of failing when I was around here. All the empty workbook pages, F's on the homework I did do, report card day. When I was a kid, I was always catching up with the things that all the other kids could do. And if I never led or tried to pull ahead, it's cause catching up was all I ever knew. But all along I'd lots of hidden talent. I kept it hidden from the others and from me. Late bloomer said my folks and I laughed it off with jokes and wondered all the time what i turn out to be. Did you ever meet someone who fall in love and years later when you look back realize you never fell out? Becky. I just can't forget her. Get ready. 
parents for the night. Yeah, yeah Mary Kitty, would you please take this message to the Pope? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Becky. Hi, Eddie. Ooh. Becky and Eddie sing in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes Becky and the baby carriage. I'm sorry, Becky. <laughs> All right, children, stand for prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive us our trespasses, and deliver us from evil, amen. Deliver us from evil, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Amen. Oh, very good. <laughs> Children, remember, each and every one of you has a guardian angel who is with you day and night. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Who watches over every move you make. Yes, yes sir. sir. Why don't you slide over on your seats and give your guardian angel a little extra room to sit down? Yo! We're as crazy as she is. Now, children, keep in mind that everything you do, everything you have done, everything you will ever do for the rest of your lives, till the day you take your last breath, every little thing you ever do, whether it's behind closed doors or not, it's over. Every little thing you ever do will now a part of your permanent records. <laughs> By just this morning, U.S. Steel was thinking of hiring a new foreman. But before they did, they called the school to see how he done in spelling in second grade. We'll buy anything. Uh, did I hear someone talking? No, sir. <laughs> Mr. Lindor, what are you doing? Nothing, sir. That's sister. Yes, sir. Sit down. Felix, what were you doing? Do you know anything about sex, Ryan? If you rub a girl's elbow, she'll do anything for you. Like your homework? Like a dog. Children! Your homework last night was to memorize questions 150 to 152 in your catechism. Mary. Question 150. Why did God make you? Nobody uh, makes Mary Kenny. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Lindor, were you talking? No, sir. Then sit down. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll repeat the question for you, Mary. Why did God make you? God made me to know him, to love him, and to serve him in this world, and be happy with him forever in the next. Oh, very good, dear, very good. <laughs> question 151. Nancy Lelansky, what do we learn from the suffering of the saints? Stand, please. Stand. <laughs> Question 
question 152. Why did God put you on this earth? Um, maybe he didn't have any place else to put it. <laughs> you are so stupid. <laughs> Mr. Ryan, how do you ever expect to get a decent job if you can't even remember your catechism questions? Sit down. Oh, my good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Good morning, sister. Good morning, children. Sit down. Sit down. Sister, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Oh, yes, Father. Do you know who that is? Who? That's Father O'Reilly. He's the pastor here at St. Bastion's. You know, my older brother told me that if a kid gets picked up by the cops, he can either go to the police station or the rectory. But anybody with brains takes a police station. <laughs> As people come back from the police station. <laughs> Children! One of the most important things in your life is about to happen. When you were six years old, you were incapable of committing sin and condemning yourselves to the everlasting fires of hell. But now you are seven, and you have reached the age of reason, and you understand right from wrong. You are now capable of committing any and all kinds of sins. Mr. Ryan, it is up to you where you spend your eternity. Soon you will receive the sacrament of penance, where you will tell the priest all your sins and be forgiven for them. Sister is going to teach you how to go to confession. Don't make any mistakes. <laughs> if you do, remember. They will become part of your permanent records. Good day, children. Good day, sister. Good day, father. Father, may we have your blessing? Oh. <laughs> In nomine patri et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. 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 Thank you, father. Thank you, father. I want you always to have a sheet of paper with you and on the first line, print S-I-N-S. Stins. Very good. <laughs> so that you'll know what to tell Father when you go to confession, I want you to use this sheet of paper to keep track of your sins and how many times you commit each one. In confession, numbers are very important. Stir, stir. Yes, Mr. Lindor. Stir, should I number all my pages? <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Lindor. <clears throat> now, children, when you go into the confessional and kneel down, you wait until you hear the window slide open, and then you say, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. You will tell the priest your sins and how many times you committed each one. The priest will ask you, are you sorry for your sins? And you will say, yes, Father. He will then give you your penance. It's a good thing to be pure. It's a good thing.
That sin. Uh-uh. My mother says, Father, that if I get any fatter, nobody will love me. Not even her. That's not true. She'll still love you. Your mother will always love you. All oh, mothers love their children, and your family and friends will love you. Not because of what you look like, but because you're filled with love and you care about others. And God will always love you because, as I've already said, all parents love their children. Now go in peace, child. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, you forgot to give me penance. No dessert tonight. Oh. <laughs> Wait, uh, do you know what's for dessert? Yes, Father. Brownies. Homemade? Yes, Father. No dessert tomorrow night. Thank you, Father. Mr. Ryan. It's your turn now. I, uh, I can't hear you. Let's see. 
lies, one, two, three, four. Disobedience, one, two, three, four, five. I only told Father four times when I disobeyed, five? That means I lied in confession? I bet there's not even a rule to cover this. I got it.
chunky. But you wouldn't be if you were taller. You got a great personality and a nice face. Well, the other kids were yelling. Those kids don't know what they're saying. Just ignore them and their silly game will end. I know. I remember how it hurts when they laugh. And it hurts when you wish you had a friend. I'll be your friend, Becky. You will? Uh-huh. A scoop of ice cream never hurts, cause God loves bad girls like me. I, I have to go home now. Um, I'll walk you home.
got your poke inside us. If you're cold, you don't come. Then we can really act like it's gone. We'll belt you till you're numb. Know. she was allowed to work in the fields. Well, she had to wear her hair that way or else she'd always be catching it in something. I wanted to wear my hair that way too, <clears throat> the way my sister did. But I was still little then, had to help my mother around the house. She kept my hair in pigtails. Ooh, how I hate pigtails. Makes a body look like a freak. Oh, what are you crying about, girl? Shaped every 
took the Lord six days to make creation. And he looked around and saw that it was good. So he took the Sunday off to put his feet up. Knowing everything turned out the way it should. It's not up to us to quibble with our maker. Cause he knew what he was doing and it's done. Cause there are no cookie cutters up in heaven. With his hands he has shaped everyone. I know everything you say is true, sister. Well, then what's the matter, child? All the other kids make fun of me and call me fatty and tub of lard. In a few minutes they'll be up here and when they see my hair looking like this, they're all gonna laugh at me. No, they won't. Well, your hair looks just fine. Well, Sister Helen told us that when we are unhappy, we should pray to the Blessed Virgin. And I do, Sister. Every day I pray to her that the other girls will like me. I know they don't mean what they say, but it still bothers me. Maybe the Blessed Virgin is testing me. Maybe she thinks it's a selfish prayer. No, no, it's not a selfish prayer. Becky, I want you to take this note to the principal's office. Yes, sister. Sister? Hmm. Could a person become a nun if they were a little overweight? Yes, of course. But you're much too young to be worrying about such things. There are some folks he made them very pretty. And there's some of us who turned out not so hot. But if all of us will struggle on together, we can make the very best of what we've got. Some are clever, some are wise, some are brilliant. And with others, well, I think he was having fun. up in heaven with his hands he has shaped everyone 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 every mother father daughter every son cause there are no cookie cutters up in heaven with his hands he has shaped everyone <laughs> take over today. This being made first, the first day of Mary's month, she's also asked me to pick a girl to crown the Blessed Virgin. <sighs> Very great honor indeed. Pretty statue, huh? Ha! Yes, but I don't really think she looked like that. You know, Mary was only about 14 years old when God asked her to be the mother of his son. You know, the land Mary lived in was mostly desert couple days before Christ was born, she and Joseph had to travel to a distant city by donkey. Huh. Little chippy like that never would have made it. <laughs> well, no one really knows for sure what the Blessed Virgin looked like, but I have ideas of my own. Well, she had to be a strong woman to have survived all of that. You can bet God didn't choose a pansy for a mother. Well, she had to be a woman with meat on her bones. Someone who was as strong on the inside as she was on the outside. And someone who could be hurt without wanting to hurt back. Hey! Ugh. Quiet, please!
Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. This week, I disobeyed my parents four times, and I got kicked out of my Boy Scout troop. What for? Tying an obscene knot. You see, you get a good firm grip on the rope. I don't and want to hear about it. For your penance, say the rosary. You make a good act of contrition. Thank you, Father. Bless me, Father. Bless me, Father, for... I have sinned. You have? <laughs> Ryan, um, there is no way I'm going to be able to tell the father how many times I sinned this week. How oh, come? It's just too many to keep track of. I mean, I must have committed at least a thousand venial sins.